Hello everybody and welcome to my kitchen again. This is Paul Churchley and this is Open University S111 Practical 4. That's floating in salt water. So I have four identical glasses here and they're labelled A, B, C and D. I have some salt, just normal cooking salt and we have some eggs. We have four eggs one for each glass. In glass A, I'm going to be having 0% salt. That's going to be just straightforward tap water. In glass D, I'm going to see how much salt I can dissolve and take it to complete saturation. So that will be 100% saturated. current temperature in the kitchen is 20 degrees C and it's 59% relative humidity. Once I've found out how much salt takes it to saturation to 100% I shall be putting 30% of that into here and 60% of that into C. I shall be putting 200 millilitres into each glass. So there we are then, each glass now has 200 millilitres of water, no salt in them yet, and the water is all at the same temperature, um, and now it's time to add some salt uh, to uh, glass D to see how much salt will take it to 100% saturation. Okay, so I've now finished um, saturating the water in glass D. I'm now going to weigh the, the glass that's got no salt in it. It's 526. I'm actually going to make a note of that. And then I'm going to weigh the glass, I'll re zero going to weigh the glass with the salt. This is at 578. So doing the sums, it's got 52 grams of salt has taken the 200 millilitres of water up the saturation point. So there we are, we have the four glasses with the, um, with the appropriate amount of salt dissolved in them. We have glass A with 0%, that's just straight tap water. Glass B, which has 33% uh, saturation, that's 17 grams of salt. Glass C, which is a 66% saturation, which is 34 grams of salt. And as I've said, D is 100%. And just as a reminder, this is all in 200 millilitres of tap water in identical glasses. So now we have to float an egg into each one and see how the eggs float. So I have three raw eggs here so I'm being a bit careful with them because I do want to eat them afterwards of course. So that's the first one gone in. That's the second one in. It's definitely floating a little bit higher. That's the third one in, and that's definitely floating even higher. And that's the fourth one in. Okay, so let's see if we can see, for just from observation, how much of this egg, these eggs are floating above the surface. So this is egg A with 0% water, and in fact it's not floating at all. You can see that it's actually sort of sitting gently on the bottom there. So look at uh, glass B which has 33% saturation. Uh, there's a little bit poking out the top of the water there so it's definitely floating but only just. 
going on to C. Oh, well, yes, you can see that C is floating even more above the surface. If you compare it to B on the left, it's got its head poking out quite nicely at the top there. And then going on to C, uh, to D, sorry, which is the saturated glass. And you can see that with D, the egg is floating even more above the surface. There's quite a bit more poking up above the surface. So I think that's pretty conclusive here, that just from observation, the eggs are supported more and float more, if you like, as the saturation of the salt increases.